The other day, I was tidying up my room when I stumbled across the strangest thing. A Nickelback CD. I uh, don't know how that got there, but all over the world, people have been finding even stranger things in even weirder places. From a secret camera in a box of cat food to a belt inside someone's chest, get ready for some more of the most bizarre discoveries found in unexpected places. <laughs> Say R. Back in 2018, construction workers in the town of Valdosta in Georgia, US were renovating the city's Converse building when they knocked out a wall on the second floor and were greeted with a horrifying sight. Sickeningly, hundreds upon hundreds of human teeth had been stashed inside it. In total, they uncovered about a thousand of the creepy teeth, enough to fill the mouths of over 31 people. Ugh. What's more, after the grizzly find, it came to light that similar teeth stashes had been found in the walls of other buildings in the state too. Whoa. So what the heck was going on? Was this the work of some dentistry-obsessed psycho? Well, probably not. It turns out that the Converse building used to be occupied by a dentistry until about 1930. And back then, people's bathrooms used to have little holes in the walls that they'd slide razors into when they were finished with them. They didn't go anywhere though. They just collected inside the wall cavities, out of sight and out of mind. Because back then, health and safety was more of a suggestion than a law. So people reckon some dentists might have had these same slots in their office walls to slide teeth into after pulling them out of people's mouths. Ah, just some good old 20th century hygiene practices then. Seriously, what was wrong with a trash can? Pickled Pete. You might expect somebody who runs a freak show to be pretty hardened to, well, freaky things. Which is why when Todd Ray, who runs the Venice Beach Freak Show in California, was freaked out about something, it caught everyone's attention. Back in 2016, Todd received a weird item in the mail from a man claiming to have found it in his backyard. The item in question was this. The man who sent it in said it was a dead creature and that to preserve it, he'd pickled it. Right. Seems like totally normal behavior. There's no denying it looks like something out of the X-Files though. Todd even went as far as to say it's truly the most alien creature he'd ever seen. And he must have seen some pretty wacky things. However, when Christina Simmons of the San Diego Zoo took a look at it, she noticed something wasn't quite right. The tissue in its head seemed to be embedded into the large piece of flesh around it and it didn't match in consistency or color. As such, it's more likely to be man-made than organic. So wait, a weird object some random guy decided to pickle isn't proof of extraterrestrials on Earth? Aw oh, man, hopefully it'll at least taste good in a burger. Two things that do taste great in a burger though are those like and subscribe buttons. Okay, that's just not true. But if you hit them, you will be the first to know about all my new fascinating videos. All done? Great, now where were we? Kitty Cam. Do you remember those little toys you used to get in chip packets and breakfast cereal? Well, a British man shopping in London bought some cat food which had a rather more sinister free gift inside, a spy camera. No, Purina aren't trialing a new off-the-wall marketing campaign. The camera wasn't supposed to be a free gift. After returning home with the box of food, his girlfriend opened it up to feed the cat. That's when she found the suspicious device which had been rigged up to film through a hole in the box. Shocked and a little disturbed, the couple returned to the store and realized that the spot it had come from was facing into the storage room, implying someone was using it to keep an eye on staff. Upon confronting the store about it though, management claimed they had no idea of its existence. The manufacturer touted the same claim, saying they too were unaware of any hidden cameras in their products. So unless somebody's lying, that leaves just one option, that a customer planted the device for their own nefarious reasons. But with attempts to get footage from the camera proving fruitless, we may never know. Honestly, I'm just surprised whoever's responsible didn't think to disguise that camera a little bit better. Like who's the food supposed to be for? The mutant three-eyed cats of Chernobyl? The Box of Crazy 
One day back in 2013, Reddit user TramStopDan was walking past the trash cans outside his house when something caught his eye. Poking out from the rubbish was an old, tattered-looking wooden box. Curious, Tram Stop Dan took the box and opened it up. Inside was a treasure trove of weird and mostly nonsensical documents. Pages of writing, hand-drawn maps, and technical drawings for machines that don't seem to exist dominated the top pages. Then things got really weird. Whoever owned the box had apparently seen something in Tampa, Florida back in 1977 that changed them. They drew a sketch of it that appears to show a series of UFOs and strange, otherworldly entities. After that sketch, the contents of the box only got stranger and more surreal. Technical drawings gave way to odd geometry. There were far more sketches of fantastical creatures, religious and extraterrestrial imagery, and all sorts of other seemingly random items were left inside as well. The internet went wild trying to figure out what exactly the box's owner had seen with theories ranging from a light projecting sculpture to a tornado. Funny looking tornado if you ask me though. What do you think? Is it nothing more than the ramblings of a madman? Or could there be something more to the so-called box of crazy? Let me know down in the comments below. Dodgy Dealings If you've never seen the reality show Storage Wars before, well, you're not missing out on a whole lot. The basic premise is that people go on the show and bid on the contents of storage units whose owners have defaulted on their bill payments. Only they can't check out what's inside the containers until they've already bought them. So it's all blind luck. Back in 2018, one contestant placed the winning $500 bid for a container. He investigated the contents and to his surprise, he found a locked safe in there. So he hired a safe cracker to bust it open. The safe proved so tough to crack through that the expert couldn't get in, and the man had to hire a second safe cracker to do the job. This time he succeeded and opened it up to reveal an astonishing seven and a half million dollars of cash inside. Finders keepers, losers weepers, am I right? But the story doesn't end there. When the storage container's original owners found out that it had been sold, they weren't happy. Before long, they had got lawyers involved and offered the new owner a deal. 600 grand to give the seven and a half million back. <laughs> for that sum, the new owner wasn't playing ball. He rejected the offer and asked for $1.2 million instead, which was eventually settled on. Sounds like this cash belonged to some nefarious individuals who didn't want anyone to know they had this money. No wonder the new owner was willing to give it back. But still, that's not a bad return for a $500 investment. What the original owners were doing with seven and a half million in cash is another story. I wonder if one of their names was Walter White. Barry Ring. Since 2004, Canadian Mary Grahams had believed she'd lost her diamond engagement ring while she was outside weeding on the family farm. Little did she know that it would turn up 13 years later in one of the most bizarre ways imaginable. Out of embarrassment, Mary hadn't told anyone other than her son about the loss and had bought a cheaper replacement ring to cover it up. However, in 2017, her daughter-in-law, Colleen, was pulling up carrots outside when she plucked one that looked a little odd. She took a closer look and realized that somehow, incredibly, the carrot had grown up straight through a diamond ring, almost absorbing it. Amazed, she showed her husband, and at once he knew exactly who it belonged to. One phone call later and Mary was reunited with her engagement ring, though she vowed to be more careful with it in the future. What an inspiring story. I spy. Sometimes I come across something so disturbingly freaky that I have no choice but to share the burden with you. Take for example, this guy. Looks like an ordinary frog, right? But now let's have a look inside its mouth, shall we? Oh, oh dear God. Yep, those are what you think they are. Big, terrifying eyes. This isn't a boss in the new Dark Souls game though. Those eyes are actually the result of a creepy genetic mutation. It's unknown what exactly causes the mutation, but scientists reckon it could be due to an infection caused by a parasitic worm called a trematode. And yeah, it's horrifying. Essentially, the worm causes a cyst inside the frog, which has such a dramatic effect on the animal that it can change its very DNA, 
making it grow extra limbs and other body parts. But this isn't the only time this has happened. A toad was found way back in 1992 with the same grotesque deformity. I know, you're supposed to watch what you eat, but these guys took that advice way too literally. Freaky fellas. Back in 2019, Tim Clerk from Auckland, New Zealand posted a video online that sent the internet into a frenzy. His mom had found some strange little creatures on the kitchen floor and in a move possibly even weirder than the things themselves, decided to pick them up. While most of them appear dead, one was very clearly wiggling its tail around. Any guesses what they might be? At first, people thought they were rat-tailed maggots, a type of fly larva which can cause a nasty infection in humans. Luckily for Tim's mom, this theory was dismissed. Instead, it's now thought that the creatures aren't creatures at all, but actually the detached legs of a moth that had been eaten by a cat or something. As for that moving one, the legs can twitch on their own after being removed from the rest of the moth. That doesn't mean they're still alive. It's a reflex action caused by nerve endings continuing to fire post-death. So like zombie legs? I don't know, but my nerves would have been all over the place if I'd come across those things. Backyard UFO. Stories of unidentified flying objects have been circulating since forever. With the advent of the internet and smartphones though, it's easier than ever for people to document their supposed sightings. TikTok user Ali Murray 222 posted a video in summer 2021 of a so-called UFO she found in her backyard in New Jersey. Either the aliens love Super Mario or that graffiti was sprayed on post-landing. The inside of the object doesn't look particularly habitable either. Although I guess if they were then lazy about its upkeep, it might explain why the thing crashed in the first place. Alternatively, it might not be the work of aliens. Shock horror, I know. Some people think it's actually an old TV satellite from the 90s or the top of a silo. Do you have any ideas about what it could be? Let me know down in the comments below. Perplexing puzzle. When moving house, it's not uncommon to find something left behind by the old owners. Back in 2015 though, a couple in Phoenix, Arizona found something truly remarkable when they moved house. It all started with a note they discovered in one of the bathroom's medicine cabinets. Intriguingly, it had a number on it. Then while renovating the kitchen, they tore up a floor tile and found something even stranger. A safe was hidden beneath it. Wasting no time, they tried the code from the note and lo and behold, it worked. Nestled inside was an assortment of objects, including a bottle of bourbon, some old photos, and wait for it, over $50,000 in cold hard cash. But it soon became apparent that the money wasn't the most interesting bit. A book called A Guide for the Perplexed was also stashed in the safe, alongside a cryptic note pointing out that the book had underlined passages of text that should be read. Just as tantalizing was an old map of Arizona with an X on it, as well as some other mysterious clues. The couple posted it online, and before long, everybody was trying to solve the case. Only something wasn't quite right. Take a closer look at this photo. They're supposedly mid-renovation, but those shoes are spotless. That ring's still on. Those nails are perfectly manicured. And most damningly of all, that hair tie is still on her wrist. Does that look like the getup of somebody in the middle of messy home improvements? Well, turns out it's not. The whole thing was a hoax, a hoard of notes were mostly just singles, and the rest of the mysterious items were nothing more than red herrings. Aw oh, man, I know it's disappointing, but let that be a lesson not to trust everything you see online. Eh, other than my videos, of course. Going nutty. North Dakotan family man Bill Fisher went away on vacation for a few days in late 2021 and left his pickup truck back at home. When he returned, however, the truck wouldn't start. So he opened the hood up and was met with a very perplexing sight. Under the hood, crammed in by the engine, were walnuts, hundreds of them. 
and they weren't just in the bonnet either. Further investigation revealed walnuts inside the fenders too. In total, Bill ended up excavating a whopping 42 gallons of nuts from the vehicle, or around seven whole buckets full. But why and how had this happened? Well, Bill had actually had this problem multiple times before, though this time was definitely the worst. It turns out Bill's got a local squirrel who thinks his Chevy is oh so perfect for storing its haul of food for the winter. Somehow the cheeky rodent had managed to cart all of those nuts back and forth into the truck in the space of just four days. That's some pretty impressive going for such a little guy. Though I don't exactly envy the job it made for poor Bill. I'd have gone completely nuts. A real belter. Okay, you'd better buckle up for this one. Back in 2010, 20-year-old 20 Anuj Ranjan from Allahabad, India was suffering from a nasty cough. After months without improvement, he was taken to hospital where he was diagnosed with a lung infection that would require surgery. When doctors started operating on him though, they found something inexplicable. Somehow a huge eight inch long piece of leather belt was lodged between his lung and his heart. Uh, jeez, that makes me feel ill just thinking about it. After three grueling hours of surgery, the doctors impressively managed to remove it all. But how in the hell did it end up there in the first place? Well, when Anoush woke up and was told about the belt, he immediately realized what it must have been. You see, four years earlier, Anoush had been in a road accident. He and his friends had been riding Pillion on a motorbike when they crashed into a scooter, wounding Anuj. After being rushed to hospital, doctors stitched him up, but ever since, he'd suffered from chest pains, fevers, and breathlessness. Anuj concluded that, despite how utterly ludicrous it sounds, when he'd crashed into the oncoming scooter, the force of the impact must have been so powerful that it literally thrust his belt into his chest. And then maybe even more outrageously, the doctors that operated on him didn't even notice the massive piece of leather inside him. I mean, come on. Amazingly, Anuj survived both the freak accident and the doctor's gross incompetence. But I'm not so sure if his faith in the medical system did. Toilet trees. You know when you're taking a walk outside, turn a corner and are suddenly greeted with a load of toilets stuck on trees? Nah, me neither. But if you'd been walking around South Hill, Virginia in 2018, you'd know exactly how that felt. Reddit user Spartan2470 reported the strange sighting, but don't worry, your toilet probably isn't gonna jump up yelling freedom and run to the nearest forest. Probably. These toilets were apparently put there by a local plumber, presumably as some kind of marketing ploy. Or he was marking his territory, not that toilets would be the weirdest thing found in forests. This guy found a mountain of ceramic dishes and teacups while he was driving through the woods of Pennsylvania. Are the toilets building an army or something? Nope, turns out this is just part of Maryland Refractory's defect pile, where defective crockery from a nearby supplier gets stored before being recycled. Okay, phew, the toilets aren't building a ceramic army, but somebody else found this in the woods behind their house. Wait. Are the toilets building a robot army? Right, I've got to remember what my therapist said. The toilets aren't sentient. They can't hurt me. Wall wallets. If you found somebody's wallet, would you try to return it or would you keep it? I'd hope you'd try to return it. But how about if you found, I don't know, 15 wallets? Well, a plumber in Illinois found just that when he was working on renovating an old high school building in 2019. The wallets weren't just lying around though. They were stashed behind an air duct in one of the walls. And they dated all the way back to the 1940s, meaning there were all sorts of old photos and things inside them. All sorts of things other than cash, that is. Suggesting the stash was probably the work of a thief hiding the evidence of their misdeeds. Little did they know their crime would come to the light some 80 years later. Names from the wallets were posted on Facebook and some of the owners actually responded. 89-year-old Betty Sissom was reunited with her old social security card, a photo of herself with her childhood crush, and a picture of her brother, who'd been fighting in the Second World War at the time. A love note was found in one wallet too, and after chasing up the owner, it turns out the two high school sweethearts ended up happily married. Aww. Man, this is far too wholesome. 
I need to show you some gross alien thing or something again before you realize I have emotions. Roadside Rarity. Okay, back to gross alien things. In February 2022, Sydney resident Harry Hayes was going for a jog outside when he came across this near a puddle on the side of the road. Naturally, he started poking it. Unfortunately, the prodding got him no closer to figuring out what it actually was. So he posted the video on Instagram where it was quickly picked up and reshared. Even after throwing it to the online masses though, still nobody could agree. People touted all kinds of ideas. A cuttlefish embryo, a germinating seed, even a mutated tadpole. But for all the guessing, still nobody really knows what it is. Personally, I reckon it's a new species of super rare water elephant. I mean, look at that trunk. What do you think though? Let me know down in the comments. Ear fear. We've already seen a dude that had a belt stuck in his body, but one resident of South China's Guangdong province found something arguably even worse inside him. The man called Mr. Lu woke up one night and complained to his family about a sharp pain in his right ear. Concerned, they grabbed a flashlight, shone it inside, and were horrified at what they saw. A great big cockroach was wedged in there, wiggling around in Mr. Lu's ear canal. It was gross. Without a pause, his family rushed him to the hospital where an ear specialist had a closer look. And if you thought one cockroach was bad enough, brace yourself. It turns out he had over a dozen squirming around in there, most of which were newborns. The sudden pain he'd felt in his ear was from them hatching. Ugh, hold on while I go puke. Ugh. Thankfully for him, the doctor used a pair of tweezers to pluck all of the insects out with no permanent damage done. Which is great and everything, but it doesn't explain how all those roaches got in there in the first place. Well, apparently he had a bad habit of leaving unfinished food packets near his bed, attracting cockroaches and other vermin. One such cockroach apparently liked the look of his ear so much it went in there, set up camp, and ugh, laid its eggs. Ugh, remind me never to eat food in bed again. The Secret City. Some 60 odd years ago, back in 1963, a Turkish man was making improvements to his home in Cappadocia when he stumbled across something absolutely insane. After knocking down a wall in his basement, the man was shocked to find a secret room behind it. And inside the room was a long tunnel leading down beneath the house. Like any sane man would, he decided to grab a flashlight and walk down it. And when he got to the end, he was greeted with a sight unlike anything he'd ever seen before. The tunnel opened out, revealing a huge labyrinthine series of tunnels and chambers stretching off in every direction beneath his house. By sheer chance, the man had discovered the ancient underground city of Durinkinu. Wait, Durinka what? Well, Durinkinu is actually one of a number of underground cities in Turkey. It started out as just a few caves way back in the 8th century BC, but the inhabitants gradually expanded, and expanded, and expanded. By the 8th century AD, the city was fully formed with schools, churches, and dozens of other chambers fit for a population of 20,000 people. During this time, Christians used it as protection from Muslim Arabs during the Arab-Byzantine Wars. Deep wells even sourced water from an underground river, so people rarely needed to leave the safety of the caves. The centuries went by, but the city continued to see use by various peoples. In fact, when our man found it in 1963, it had only been abandoned for about 40 years. It makes you wonder why the house was linked to the city in the first place. Was it a lookout maybe? Whatever the answer, nowadays, Darren Kuyu is a popular tourist attraction, so you can visit and make your own conclusions. Finger food. I can't lie, I'm partial to the occasional dirty burger, but I'm not sure I'd ever eat one again if I'd experienced the horrendous ordeal that Stefani Benitez suffered through back in September 2021. The Bolivian woman had been enjoying a hamburger at one of her favorite fast food chains when she noticed something strange in her mouth. Something chewier than normal. Perplexed, she pulled out the strange bit of meat only to be utterly repulsed at what she saw in her hand. Estefani had been chewing on the nail of part of a severed finger. 
Understandably sickened and angry, the disgruntled woman confronted staff demanding to know how such a thing could have happened. But nobody could answer. So she posted her experience online and as the story blew up, the truth behind the misplaced digit came to light in all its grotesque glory. It turns out one of the workers at the burger factory had been operating a machine when he made a costly error and lost part of his index finger in the mechanism. After being rushed to hospital, however, the missing piece wasn't recovered. At least not until a Stefani found it. Somehow it had passed through quality control and ended up smack bang in the middle of her patty. In response to the disaster, the burger branch was temporarily closed and the company was fined. All I can say is, this is one time the food really wasn't finger licking good. Phew, that's about all the bizarre discoveries I've got for you for now. Which did you find the strangest? And have you ever found anything so weird and out of place it could feature in this video? Let me know down in the comments below and thanks for watching.